empty force of Ottoman Turks sweep across Romania, threatening the very heart of Christendom. From the ashes of destruction arose a young Romanian prince, a knight of the secret order of the dragon, a direct descendant of Abel himself. The prince was charged to vanquish the Turks from his homeland. Before leaving for battle, he appointed his one true love to rule in his place until he returned. He ordered his four best knights to guard her with their lives. Some say he fought with the power of God. Others say the blood of the dragon. Those who dared whisper his name would feel the fear in their tongues. Far from the bloody battlefields, another war was being fought at home. Taking advantage of their master's absence, Dracula's own advisors plotted to overthrow the throne. Unhappy with the prince's visionary ways, the traitors dared not challenge Dracula directly. They found his gentle bride to be a much easier target. The battle was over, but the war had just begun. with immortality as punishment for his defiance. To live with his tortured soul for eternity. Leave it. Keepers, gather around. Oh. 
Alina, you take care of me and go on ahead to the rendezvous point. We'll try to meet up with you there. We will stay and fight. You'll light and have the fastest horses. Find Leonardo. He'll know what to do. Come with us. We'll stay here with the other knights. We'll hold them off as long as we can. Now go! We can lose him there. We need to stay on the road if we're going to find Leonardo. We'll never make it to him if the creatures find us first. Come on. This way. by now. This is it. Where is he? Something's not right. I don't like the looks of this place. Lost a pair of winches. A bicycle one, so that. You're not the undead. Hey, you're not knights. You're just common thieves. I'd prefer to think of us as extremely charming and witty thieves. Charming. Oh, I see, there's nothing common about you either. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I am the great 
Lucien Marais. Really? What's so great about you? Some would say my excruciatingly handsome good looks. Are those people blind or just drunk? Oh? <laughs> <laughs> Look, darling, we want what's in that box. So why don't you just hand it over and we can all go on our merry way? Over our dead bodies. It'd certainly make a lovely pair of courses. <laughs> Move along and no one gets hurt. <laughs> Be dapper. We have you completely surrounded. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing that for? I warned you. Boys, take the box. <laughs> that box is more important than you could ever imagine. Really? Oh. Oh, yeah. I, I'm real scared. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> there you go. Woo! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Told you we were witty thieves. We're delivering it to a man named Leonardo Van Helsing. Never heard of him. If you want money, he will pay handsomely for your assistance. But if you choose to steal what's his, he's a dangerous man. And so am I. <laughs> Are <we> boys? <laughs> All right. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Wait! Oh. Hmm. Now what? Take us with you. Just to the next village. We're talking about no, don't do this. No, no, do no, it. No, this is what happened last time. Women are nothing but trouble. What are you doing? Just go with him. But she's beautiful. Oh, you can you find more women, which would be much less of a headache than those two up there. You're insane. Just play along. Sorry, boys. We <laughs> have lost the big guy. So what would we do with you? We can pay for safe passage. And Esme is a great cook. I am. Yes, you are. Fine. We all do as I say. Understood? Yeah. Until the next village. be tired after your journey. Let us go. Do not worry. Do not be harmed. I am Renfield, Chancellor of this kingdom. Come. I will see that your needs are tended to. I will see that your needs are tempered. All the comforts of our castle are open to you. Through here is the great hall. Enjoy. Sorts of pleasures and adventures await you. Just to see the 
Un plac noi veniții. Miros foarte fresh. Ce bravo, mușcați. Este persoana ta favorită. This is the main dining room. You are our guests. I want you to enjoy your time with us. All of this is for you. Whatever you want, not a desire, it's here. I want to make you feel at home. Welcome. Everything has been done for your pleasure and enjoyment. Music. Company. Comfort. All is for you. We hope that you will learn to love us, embrace your new life with us. I will leave you now. The master will see you again tomorrow. Sit, eat, enjoy. This is your new home. The newcomers have settled in. I don't like strangers. There is word of slayers arriving from as far away as Covenland, the frozen wastes of the north. With so many enemies aligned against us, we must increase our numbers. Just think, with the Lightbringer in your possession, we will not worry about these things again. We'll find it. Then you can have as many followers as you wish. Just think, sir. Once the Lightbringer is in your possession, no one need die again. Except those who defy me. No expense on the lock. This is a bad idea, Alina. What other choice did we have? Uh. Gather round, boys. Moment of truth. Come on. All right, open it up. Ah. Come on, little enthusiasm. Yeah. Oh, open it already. That's yeah. neat. <laughs> It's just a walking stick. <laughs> All that ever for a piece of wood. We cannot lose the Lightbringer. Oh. Wait, what do you say? The Lightbringer. It alone has the power to defeat Dracula and the creatures of the night. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying you think this is some kind of magic walking stick? But Cain used to slay Abel with the very first weapon. Woo! You don't say. The blood of innocence transformed it into a tool of God's vengeance. Did you bang your head? I think so. The trail ends here. Spread out! 
person's hands, it has the power to wipe out entire armies. Put a lot of faith into an old walking stick, aren't you, sweetheart? Oh! Oh! oh. oh. What a strong one here, boys! Oh! oh. 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 for a kiss? What is it about this walking stick? It's an ancient holy relic. It's taken us years to find it. There were others with us who gave their lives for it. I'm sorry. We may not be knights, but we respect that. There may not be a market for religious artifacts. Should we give it back to them? See for the conscience. Maybe even a heart. The light bringer should not be passed around like a flagon of cheap ale. Leonardo. I told you you'd come for the light bringer. What is happening here? What are you two doing with such companions as these? What is this flirtation? Open your eyes. Look. Is this the people to share your sacred secrets with? She was the one that told no, you. I was no, protecting no. it. I am disappointed with both of you. What would your father have said now? And he entrusted me with your care. Excuse me. <laughs> who are you, old man? I am Leonardo van Helsing. And who are you? I'm Lucien Murray. A great adventurer. World's finest poet. Yeah. Lover. Thief. Oh, <laughs> Very amusing. Very. My friend, you have something that belongs to me. Do I?
my lord. Forgive me. Wrath. I'm disappointed. You were but a young boy, yet you stood bravely against my enemies. I remain loyal to you. Now I have given you strength to match your courage, and yet you fail. How is this possible? Sire, they used the Lightbringer. But that's impossible. My lord asks a question, you will answer him. Call your tender, my knight. No reason to frighten our guest. Alina. My name is Alina. Ah. A Greek name, I do believe. If I'm not mistaken, it means light. It also means fire. You are hurt. Go ahead. Kill me. Oh, on the contrary. No one shall touch you. Renfield, show our guest the West Wing. See to her injury. The West Wing, my lord? The royal suite. For Alina of the Light. As you wish, my lord. My lord. that this sign is telling us that your sister is not only alive, but somehow thriving. We'll save her. Yes, we will leave now. Even though the scourge of Dracula's army cannot rise in the day, we will travel throughout the night, we will save her. You're not coming? No. This is where we say goodbye. Even after all you've seen, the Scourge, the Lightbringer, you want to leave? I don't even know what the Lightbringer is or why it responded to me. The question is not why it chose you, but who you really are. Not interested. Have you not seen the giant pile of bodies here? Next time will be different. There won't be a next time. Well, what about your friends? Don't you want to avenge them? And what good would that do? They're dead and they're not coming back. Or have you got like a little magic walking stick for that too? What about Alina? What about her? Come, Esme. Let us go. You can't force someone to do the right thing. And you don't want to be alone when the undead return. Wait up. My lord, the Lady Alina's resting. 
What do you think, Rimville? There is a remarkable resemblance. But is it more? My lord, be wary of coincidence. The girl may bear her face, but never her soul. Is it possible for us to return to this earth? Born again in another time. Be careful where the paths of your mind wander, my lord. I fear they will only lead to disappointment. I would welcome disappointment. The elders said we should not dwell on the past. The elders are gone, along with their outdated beliefs. Should not some of their beliefs be reconsidered? No. We have our own ways now. I see you are still young at heart, my master. I'm not unsettled. I need her, Renfield. Are not the women of the castle enough to sate your appetite? A thousand of them could never fill the void she left behind. You should rest. Can I possibly think about sleep now? The power of our armies lies in your power of regeneration. Without it, they would grow weak. See to it that the boards are replaced. You know my heart cannot leave this place. Renfield. Watch over her for me. Of course, sir. I feel your pain, my knights. My lady, you should be in bed. And for that failure to protect his beloved queen, he imprisoned them for all eternity. You know of the four knights? Yes, but I never believed them to be true. Only stories mothers told their little girls before they went to sleep at night. And what story did your mother tell you? Once, there was a great handsome prince who fought gallantly for Transylvania. He defended us against our enemies until one day he turned to the dark side. 
lost his faith. He put his own selfish desires ahead of God's. He was let down by his knights, who were supposed to protect his one true love, his princess, Erzibet. It was a great night. This country owes him a great debt for his sacrifice and courage. And yes, he loved his princess with all his soul. What do you know of love? God is love. Everything else is a pale shadow in comparison. <laughs> well, perhaps that explains why my master prefers the shadow. Here, God has no power. How can you serve such a demon? There is much you do not understand about loyalty. I was born into the Keepers of the Light. The first words we learn are oaths of honor and loyalty. My loyalty is to the land. And as long as my master rules over it, to him. Your master is a monster that should be destroyed. There is no earthly power that can defeat my lord. What about the Lightbringer? Lucian, what do you know of your past? My parents died when I was very young, and the only other family I've known was killed last night. What if I told you you were from the bloodline of Cain? Who? I'm from the Bible. In the book of Genesis, Cain and Abel. I don't go to church much. After Cain killed his brother, God condemned him and his offspring to a life of crime as murderers, cutthroats. And thieves. Isn't half of humanity related to Cain? On the contrary, Adam and Eve had many children. Cain was the firstborn, then Abel, then Seth. Okay, you spare me the whole family tree. You, my boy, are a very rare breed. Tell me something I don't know. There they are, the Carpathian Mountains. Bows and arrows don't even phase him. You're wasting your time. At least we're doing something. Yeah, someone's gonna get you both killed. Alas. Lucian is right. Our weapons are a feeble defense at best. Told you. The Lightbringer. The Lightbringer must work for us. We must find a way. Let me see. What does it work for you two? Oh, well, I guess the Lightbringer only responds to the bloodline of its former master. All right. <coughs> Let me try. Hmm. 
so much for your theory. I don't understand. It worked for him before. Something must have changed. He must be of the blood of Cain. The blood of Cain. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? <clears throat> ah! his brother with a sigh. He was a farmer, you know. Keep your feet under you. Yeah, I'm trying, Always I'm trying. Balance, Wait, balance, I'm trying, I'm trying. Balance. Never cross your legs. Just balance, dance, you see? Keep your movement fluid. You'll get it, you'll see. But tell me, old man, how do you think this thing's even gonna beat Dracula's army? Because Dracula is a descendant of Abel. If God cursed Cain and his offspring, what would he have bestowed on the sons of Abel, the favored ones? Just come, 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 come! Oh, Let's I don't know, go. I'm not good at riddles. A life of nobility and privilege. A life of nobility and privilege. And what was Dracula before he embraced the powers of evil? A prince. A prince. The light bringer, the original weapon that killed Abel, is the only thing. That can kill Dracula. Good. So what happens uh, if Dracula gets a hold of this thing? Dracula? But the blood of Abel. The light bringer does the opposite. It brings the dead to life. I like it here. The person who owns this castle is a very evil man. If you can even call him a man. He's nice to us. I'll show you.
Life is learning. Everyone has challenges. Well, it's easy to say we're not carrying the curse of Cain. Here we are. Welcome to the streets. The crossroads for every demon slayer on this edge of the Carpathian Mountains. You could use a drink. Slayers do not consume alcohol. It does the mind and slows the sense. Well, good job I'm not a slayer, but... None of that. Head. Why is your head down? <clears throat> what are you thinking about? Nothing. The past is not nothing. Let me console you. Only when you know who you truly are can you use it for good. Don't feel sorry for yourself. I'm not feeling anything. I don't know what he's talking about. Seat's taken. Of respect. This is family. This is kindred. To whom do I have the honor to speak? My name is Andros, son of Cormac the Wolf Slayer. I'm a demon hunter. From where have you come, Andros? You've come a long way? Beyond the frozen seas, far to the north. You sit with us. These are my good friends. Barkeep, bring us as much food as this table will hold. We may not drink, but that doesn't mean we can't eat like horses. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what brings you to Bistris? Tales of a demon called Dracula and of a slayer called Van Helsing who seeks to hunt him. I am Van Helsing. In my land, these demons are called Gronsjeg. My sister was taken by these creatures. Now I've spent many years traveling, avenging my family. Long time to hold a grudge. What we are fighting here is no ordinary demon but a vampire. Lord Dracula is as strong as 100 men and as cunning as he is strong. He lures his followers with promises of eternal life and beauty. To drink from his blood, you become one of them. But you become a slave to the curse. The blood is the life. Well, we should be safe if we don't drink his blood. Unless you are bitten. In that case, you have three choices. You can pray for a quick death. You can drink from him and live forever or you can turn into the august Nosferatu. Nosferatu. From Nekurat, meaning unclean, and Nesuferit, the suffering. To be bitten and not drink from Dracula's blood is a suffering without end. My warrior friend, now that I have told you, is this danger a price you are willing to pay? I do not fear it. Yeah. Pay attention, young ones. Throughout history, whenever barbaric poisons have taken hold and evil seems poised to flood the earth, heroes, have always risen up, willing even to sacrifice themselves, that future generations have the opportunity to seek peace. 
These heroes are from God himself. I am always humbled to be in their presence, and I have striven always to be one of them. I would drink to that, if you let me. I am happy to be with each of you. We haven't been introduced. I'm Esme, slayer in training. And the rude one here is Lucian. I wouldn't be in such a mood if you just let me have some wine. The wine's no good. It dulls the mind and slows the senses. Spoken like a true slayer. Ha, 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 It's a conspiracy. It is, it's a conspiracy. distorted notion of mercy, sir. I give eternal life so those here may live in peace and happiness. Only the Lord God can give eternal life. I should kill you now for your blasphemy. You would not be the first to try. But I think you would find him a very difficult man to kill. You're no man. You're a demon. The man I was once. A man I may yet again hope to become. She was very beautiful. Yes, she was. Sorry for your loss. It was given to the Queen of Sheba by King Solomon himself. A token of his eternal love and devotion. Why don't you try it on? I couldn't. But you are my guest. I insist. Of course not. May I leave? Not just yet. Then I'd like to go back to my room. We leave for Borgovina. There have been reports of activity near the Borgo Pass. We start there. Wait. You don't even know what Dracula's castle is. No one does. It is rumored to be on the crest of the Carpathian Mountains near to the Borgo Pass. I'm told that slayers are gathering in growing numbers in Bisritz. Something amiss, my lord? A heavy loneliness sits over my heart. Let me guess, Miss Alina. You will never see me as anything but a monster. I should turn her. Make her one of us. I don't know if that's wise, sire. If she is indeed your true love, give her time to remember. If she loved you once, she'll love you again. My lord. <laughs> Never have I regretted what I've become. Until now. Thank you. 
it's this that like them to attack an entire village. They're becoming more aggressive. Or desperate. Go. It falls to us to protect them. Remember me? Why, if it isn't the thief. I've learned something new about myself. Bringer, they will be in full force. Esme, where are you going? To get my sister. I'm coming with you. The young ones have taken over. Shall we? I may have one more battle left in me. <laughs> my champion. Greatest of all my warriors. The boy. He wields the Lightbringer. He is a descendant of Cain. We have underestimated him. I will give you what you need to defend him.
I think I remember. Do not weep for the past, dear Elena. Too many tears have already been shed. Come. Let me show you something. It is here I seek my solace in the stars. It's beautiful. According to Plato, the universe is one soul divided into equal parts, each one assigned to a star. And those who live a full and virtuous life return to their native star, while others return to Earth again and again until they find their life's true purpose. All these years, I've searched the skies, hoping to find the light of my one true love. I don't understand. Search your heart. And find me. Castle would have to be in a defensible position on a mountain against a cliff. Just hope we're not too late. Have faith. Look who's talking about faith now. Ha <laughs> ha! The illusion. Uh. <laughs> oh, there's a compass. But it's not heading north. Maybe it's not supposed to. Paprika hen. Fowl. Prepared in the traditional Hungarian fashion, just the way you like it. I'm sure you will like it. Are you not having any? Alas, my palate has changed over the years. <sighs> of course. I'd forgotten. <laughs> Why do you want the Lightbringer so badly? What do you need with yet another weapon? Oh, it's not just a weapon. With the Lightbringer, I can ensure that no one ever loses the ones they love. You'd make yourself equal to God? Oh, not at all. No, God has the power to create life. I'll just prevent him from taking it away. <clears throat> Apologies for the intrusion, sir. Wrath sends word that the thief and his comrades are heading this way. Lucian. You know this man? Um... He'll be with my sister. They'll be looking for me. Many have tried to find this place. All have failed. We are hidden from the eyes of mortals. Do you have feelings for this man? I... 
I seem to have lost my appetite. If you'll excuse me. to find a way inside. I need two choices. Up or under. <laughs> and how would you know? When he'd robbed as many castles as I have, he'd know it's only towers and dungeons. Royals have no imagination. So who goes up and who goes under? Thank <laughs> you. 
wish I'd never see you again. All right, look. Come on, let's go. Leonardo Van Helsing. It's done for the master. You've waited for this moment for so many years. And here you are. Welcome. I have come with no other intent but to end your poisonous maze forever. I believe you. And yet, I'm impressed with you. Your courage, your fortitude, your persistence, your knowledge about me. In many ways, perhaps you know me better than I know myself. If I were to make you one of mine, What conversations you and I could have. Have you turned the girl? No. Not yet. What can I offer you to set her free? I'm afraid I can't do that. Lord Dracula. Have you ever considered that this god you turned against truly does exist. And if you take this girl, you will never be able to forgive yourself. You're suggesting that my soul is not completely lost. No one in my thought is completely lost. Whilst yet they have the power to seek redemption and God's mercy. Renfield. Master Van Helsing, we'll speak again. We will let him live. And now, I must rest. Could it be any darker down here? The dead don't need any light. Where are your companions? The one who wields the Lightbringer. He is coming. Good. That's what we were hoping. Your sister, I've missed you. Come to me. To see you again, here, it's like a dream. And just, yes, my brother, a dream from which there is no awakening. <laughs> Down. 
around us. Yeah. I'm not leaving you, old man. Oh, go away. <laughs> I've been beaten. Yeah. It's only a matter of time before the transformation is complete. <laughs> then we'll all go together. <laughs> And your father would be proud of you. And whatever blessings I have left to give, I give them to you. the location and the layout of the stronghold. Now's the time to attack. And this time, the element of surprise will be on our side. None of you should go. But you don't understand him like I do. Okay, he's a beast only because he's been treated like one. You've gone soft because you're under his spell. No. I kept this for you. Hold on to it for me.
invade my home. Destroy the truth. Because you gave her dominion over your heart and this land. A mere cult, Cupine. You defied the elders with your willfulness and decadence. Your love was a disease that had to be extinguished. I will bring this country back to the glory it once knew. No! I've already killed you once, my princess. Heal yourself. I know you can. Let me spend these last moments with you. <clears throat> it's better than a century alone. Okay. 
waiting for you. Burdened with the curse of a broken heart, Lucian vanished into the wilderness, just as his forefather had so many eons ago. No one knows where he went, or if another descendant of Cain will appear when the time is right. And so ends the untold tale of the First Crusade of Dracula. Many slayers fought to find him, including descendants of the great Leonardo van Helsing. The castle destroyed. All that is left in ruins. But Dracula still lives. I know this to be true. As I wait to reunite with my one true love. Heroes die. Death is eternal. But real love is forever. Love. Love. Love.